When bleeding the brakes on your W124, make sure that you use a DOT4 brake fluid in your car. Use of a silicon DOT5 fluid is not recommended for street use, and never mix DOT4 and DOT5 fluid together or brake failure can occur. Never use DOT5 in an ABS system unless it is designed for it, or again, brake failure can occur. Shown here is the motive power bleeder, yellow arrow, attached to the reservoir, red arrow, by its hose and cap. The power bleeder is available from pelicanparts.com. It is a huge time saver when it comes to bleeding your brakes. You should have and use a 9mm flared nut wrench to open the bleed nipples on the calipers. The wrench grasps the nipple with the wrench more completely than a standard wrench and helps open the nipples without rounding them off. The nipples can get stuck with all the road grime, so make sure you use the right tool and eliminate the chance of damaging them. Open the bleed nipple by loosening it in the caliper about a quarter of a turn yellow arrow. Let the brake fluid run out of the caliper until no more bubbles appear. You should use a clear tube, red arrow, so you can see the air bubbles escaping and when they stop. If you are working by yourself, I always like to have a large drip pan or rubber container underneath my work area. Brake fluid is very messy and will stain or ruin anything it comes in contact with. Mercedes-Benz recommends you flush and replace your brake fluid every two years. Deposits and debris can build up in the lines over time and decrease the efficiency of your brakes. Brake fluid is also hydroscopic and will absorb moisture despite it being a sealed system. This too will lead to inefficient braking. Regular bleeding of your system can also help eliminate brake problems that you wouldn't necessarily notice simply by driving the car. Also, never reuse brake fluid. Always use new, fresh fluid. In addition, don't use brake fluid that has come from an open can that has been sitting on a shelf or sitting in your power bleeder for a while. Brake fluid has a tendency to absorb moisture when sitting on the shelf. This moisture boils out of the brake fluid when you start using the brake and can result in a spongy pedal feel. When bleeding your brakes, start at the caliper furthest away from the reservoir and work your way towards the one closest to the reservoir. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.